Will I have to pull an all-nighter to study? Question mark. I'm an undergraduate and I'm about to enter, enter Bachelors of Mechanical Engineering. I assume that's what BME man means next year. Will I have to pull an all-nighter to study? Question mark. I just graduated from high school, and in three months, I will enter my first college year in BME. I'm worried because I keep on seeing people pull all-nighters for tests, exams, and even homework. I'm wondering if I focus on all my courses and practice them when I get home, will I struggle as I see other people do? The answer is you may, or you may not. I'd say that if you're really diligent, I know people that never had to pull an all-nighter in college. These are people that treated you know, their college, like a career. They, they were very diligent about their time management. They didn't work other jobs during school and they were modestly involved in extracurriculars, but they treated their education like a hey, in out. They, they clocked in at 8 a.m. in the morning. They started studying. They went to class. They studied until five, six, seven, eight, nine, even 10 p.m. at night, some nights. And then they checked out, went to bed at 10 o'clock every night. And that is the one, one way of doing it. That is not the way I did it. I was not as diligent as those people. Hey, I made it. Uh, I wasn't as diligent as those people were. I worked part-time jobs my second in my my last two years of college for my second half of my college career. I was involved in a fraternity. I was involved in like three or four different clubs. I did a I did a stint on the campus news team because I liked the movie Anchorman. I I just kind of was all over the place doing all these different kinds of things and. I pulled one all-nighter my freshman year. I pulled a handful of them my sophomore year, uh, but that was just, I had a really long day on Wednesdays, and then on Thursdays I had no classes. Uh, hardly, any, like maybe one class. And I had a big homework, difficult homework assignment due on Thursdays, so I just stayed up on Wednesday night until I finished that assignment. Many nights it, I went all night long, and then I took a big nap. On Thursdays. I'm not saying that the way I did it is the right way to do it, and I don't recommend doing it this way to everybody. The point is, is will you have to pull an all nighter to study? No. May you have to pull an all nighter to study? I know plenty of people in my engineering program that didn't have to. I, I did. I did pull all nighters, and that was just, I had fun with it. I, I leaned into it, and I have a lot of friends that did similar things, and it's fun. Fun, fun with it? Is it fun? fun? Is fun the right word <laughs> to describe that? The point is, it, it depends. But if you work diligently and you work really hard to prevent it from being a thing, then it won't be a thing for you. But it may. It may be a thing. But it shouldn't be a regular occurrence every single night. Like, uh, maybe you're seeing dramatized for you. With good discipline and um, habits and stuff and learning how to really study effectively, then you shouldn't have to. All right. Let's... Lead. Let's read the comments. Nope. Anyone who needs to pull an all-nighter has bad study habits or is a procrastinator. Okay, call me out. Call me out. Um, you pull all-nighters when you skip all your homework until the last day. Then you're up all night trying to get it submitted. Um, or you can manage your time wisely. I work 40 hours a week and go half time. I have a family. I've yet to pull an all-nighter. So don't worry. You don't, you'll be fine if you remain disciplined in your schoolwork. Yeah, that's about right. There were moments in my life that I was not disciplined. And I prioritized other things over staying ahead and on top of things. I didn't necessarily have to stay studying all night for exams. And by the way, I never, I never pulled in line that are studying for an exam. I never did that. I did have nights where I was, you know, doing cost benefit analysis, but I kind of figured out that five hours of sleep was the amount of sleep that I needed to be fully present in that exam mentally. So I, w I wouldn't get less than five hours of sleep the night before an exam. I, I stay up until like, you know, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning with my study group studying. And then I would check out around that time and get my five hours and, and be ready to go the next morning. Uh, I have other friends that pull on letters studying for exams. And I'll say this whenever you're studying late into the night. The uh, marginal benefits that you get from that extra time spent studying go down. Uh, so... Yeah, you win some, you lose some, you get you get <laughs> you get different uh, mileage out of different strategies. But it's always said that being diligent, planning, studying in advance, recurring studying, 
um, that's always the formula for success. I'm miscommunicating. I just made a pilot, then they threw me on the stations. Now I'm not complaining. Now I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated. I cannot explain in lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries. Thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify. They put me on the stations.